Back in the day, okay, graduated from University of Maryland with my business degree. At the time, my parents owned a real estate company. I said, okay, great, I'll get my sales experience at home. Well, shoot, I was a 21-year-old snot-nosed kid back in 1985. I uh, had just graduated from West Point. My first duty station was Fort Belvoir. I remember when my parents first started their own agency. I remember my dad sitting for hours trying to write innovative commercials and ads and things for the newspapers. My dad was a teacher. Uh, he and my mom. My mom was a housewife, and uh, they raised six kids. Grew up in a 1,600-square-foot, one-bathroom Cape Cod that they lived in for 62 years. What I learned from my dad is that he was there every morning before everybody else. My first deal was an $8,000 unimproved lot that I sold to the St. Mary's County Building Authority. I remember being totally dressed to the T, okay, going to that settlement, an absolute positive nervous wreck. I walked out of that settlement drenched. I was a part-time realtor. I was in my basement of our house in Alexandria and Wilton Woods. Um, we blew out a bunch of walls, put in five phone lines and fax lines, and, and thankfully it had a two-car garage around back where the, the clientele could, could park around back and the neighbors wouldn't get ticked at us for, uh, for taking up any, any of the space on, on the street. I'd get up uh, and be at Belvoir at PT at 4.15 in the morning. I'd work till 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening. I'd come home, change out a uniform, and get into the, the real estate clothes, and uh, my day would usually go till midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning. And any given weekend, uh, we would conduct, Britt and I would conduct four and five open houses. Uh, and even when, when Kristen was born, uh, when she was a baby, we'd set up the porta crib, uh, the little Graco thing, right inside one of the homes. And we, we'd do one from 10 to 1, and another one from 1 to 4. We'd do that all day Saturday, and we'd do it on Sunday. The day that the Ray Runco Realty came down and the Stone & Associates went up, um, it was a very scary day. Uh, the first couple years making a decision, am I going to pay myself or am I going to pay the mortgage? I mean, uh, I, I think about those times and I honestly don't know how I slept at night. When, when Mary Lynn took over the office, it was Mary Lynn and about eight or nine of us. I was always so kind of taken aback that people had confidence in me to join the company and think that I could really help them build their careers. We've always been like a family. Uh, we've always been uh, successful. We've always had uh, very high goals and very high standards. There was a lot of faith. There was faith in me. There was faith in the other associates that worked there. We had a lot of faith in each other that we were all going to do the best, provide the best, and really try to support each other. I think that was really the success, and if there was anything that I learned, is that that's key. I went to work with Todd in 91. We branded Century 21 in 1994. At that time, I was older than him. I think we're about the same age now. Fast forward to 98, when we formed New Millennium, we put three of the top Century 21 companies together and that gave us some regional presence on the Virginia side. It was me. I introduced uh, Todd and Mary Lynn. September of 99 was, let's go across the river. And uh, we were going to be Mary Lynn's exit strategy. Uh, I had met Todd at a leadership conference and I thought, wait, there's no way we're gonna mesh this, our, our energies. When Mary Lynn and I first met, during the discussions, uh, we got to know each other a little bit. What I realized is that I really didn't need an exit from the business. I just needed the confidence and the ability to continue to provide what we needed to provide for the agents to succeed. I knew from the very beginning that she was different. She was a terrific lady. She was going to do well. The, the day that we met Todd was the day that the city came to the country in a black suit with a tie. <laughs> All right, so there we are. Three of us walk in to the back door of the uh, training room that Mary Lynn's announcing this pretty big news. <laughs> there, there was always the thought of what have we done. And I immediately could see the expression on her face change and sort of get that, that, that frown. And, and we all know Mary Lynn well. She's saran wrap and you can just see, oh man, we must have screwed up. Um, lo and behold, I will tell you, somehow, some way it's worked. And somehow, some way, our strengths and our weaknesses have blended together. And um, I think we fight sometimes like old married people, but um, you know, He's been the best partner and the best person to move ahead with that I could ever thought of. So what started as a business relationship became one of the best friendships. Friendships that I could ever dream possible. On a scale of one to 10, 
very honestly, um, getting together with Todd is probably close to a 20. I've been in the business since 1981, and I've seen so many changes. Real estate has changed a lot. Just the way people do business, the way that agents do business. Our business keeps changing. It keeps moving forward. This company has always been very innovative. They're ahead of the game. I think it's about time that we take all that technology and boil it down and get to the stuff that really matters. I feel this company has always been forward thinking. They're researching, following the market and the trends, and we're always ahead of what the next company or organization is doing. What can we do next? How can we best provide our agents with the tools they need to take it to the next step. To make our jobs easier. What I think agents need is a brokerage that lets them stay in front of their customers. You can't be a master of everything. You have to get to the core of what's good and focus on that. We have to make sure that we have the competitive edge and that we help all of our associates have the competitive edge to get hired for every job that they ever apply for, every listing that they ever sit down in front of. Um, the operative word when we make decisions is fair and what's the fair thing to do and profit. Profit isn't bad. An agent needs to make profit and the company needs to make profit. One of the things we deliver and bring to the table is we now have a 20-year track record of success and a foundation from which we can build upon. Looking past today, looking to the future, and that's what we're all going to build on. I think the key to success is always being forward thinking. That's what we're doing today. It's been a fast 20 years. Here's to 20 more. Wow, 20 years, congratulations. It's hard to believe when those three men in black came down to St. Mary's County. The cake is baked. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna continue to eat. Hey everyone, congratulations on our 20 year anniversary. Century 21's been around for 20 years, congratulations. 20 years, new millennium, congratulations, here, here.